يعني احنا من يصير عندنا انفجارات وهاي ندوخ زين بس اذا توفى الدنيا تنقلب زين ودائما يتعارضون للضرب الاطباء اذا دكتور ار هيومن They are not a prophet. If you make a simple mistake, patient family running behind you to kill you or begging for money. Do you think about leaving? بعض الأحيان. Wissam is a specialist in internal medicine. For the last four years, he's been working at Imam Ali Hospital, one of Baghdad's largest. Sadr City, the neighborhood where the hospital is located, has long been home to some of Baghdad's poorest residents. The area itself is best known for its resistance to Saddam Hussein's regime and then against the invading U.S. military. It comprises as much as half of Baghdad's population. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> يشوفون حالته شلون تستقر نعم علاج وعلى حسب الاسلوب كلها كامله. Why do you think cases like this have increased in the past 12 years؟ لا انا شرحت لهم اكو موجوده هاي بعد الاحتلال. هاي قلت له انا الحاله النفسيه اثر الحروب صارت بالعراق زين السيارات المفخخه مواد كيميائيه كلها مواد كيميائيه. اهم شيء فعلا العامل النفسي ما مرتاح شخص يطلع ما يمن على روحه باي لحظه تنفجر على باي. After the U.S. invasion in 2003, Sadr City became a target for attacks by supporters of the former government. يعني إحنا من يصير عندنا انفجارات وهاي ندوخ زين نضل نحول فغير كافي رادنا بعض المستشفى خصوصا مدينة الصدر. One of the promises made in 2003 when the U.S. invaded Iraq was that crumbling state infrastructure, including hospitals, would be repaired and expanded. Je get bad, yani, to grieve. تقريباً يعني أقل شيء أقل شيء فد أربع خمس مستشفيات يلا تكفي أقل شيء لأن أعداد كبيرة. أنا طيتك أقول لك ثلاث ملايين أربعة ملايين بس هي أكثر. The Ministry of Health's budget was cut for 2015 because of falling oil prices and government funds being diverted to the war effort against the Islamic State. The battle has had other knock-on effects for health care. Doctors here at Naman Hospital in northwest Baghdad say there's been a 30% increase in patients due to refugees coming from other parts of the country. At the same time, there's a lack of basic medical supplies to the extent which doctors say they're purchasing some of them themselves. What's wrong with your mother? وكلها تعرف بفلوس يعني مصرف الأدوية والعلاجات والتحاليل والفحوصات أصلا يعني ماكو على التقاعد الله وفي لك هنا على التقاعد كل سنة كل شهرين بنستلم راتب التقاعد عايشين والله ما يعني ما ضيف كل شيء بس إحنا طالبين يعني العون والمساعدة إن إذا إذا هي جهة أو منظمة إنسانية تقدم خدمة ومساعدة لهذا الوضع اللي إحنا نعيشه في الوقت الحاضر. Why are you here at the hospital today? Uh, 
يساعد على مستشفى ما يعني مستشفى اهلي كلش يريد يعني مبلغ ضخم على مود يسوي لي العمليه فاضطريت اجي على مود شويه لانه ما عندنا فلوس فاحنا ضلينا ما طلعت من البدايه الاسبوع الاول كله بس داعش يمنا ما يقبل نطلع ما يخلونا نطلع من نطلع يضربون علينا يعني نايمين ورا ما طلعنا ياخذوا البيت فخو خو فجروا شلون تقبلوا الاطفال؟ ما تقبلوا تمرضوا يعني انا عندي واحد من اطفالي يظل انتهوا انتهت قبله وتمرضوا يعني انا عندي واحد من اطفالي يظل 19 يوم على المغذي بحيث كان وزنه 35 صار 21 ويدب من راسه عندي بنتي الثانيه همينه ظلت تدب من راسه وصاعدها التهاب كلش قوي وهمينه يوميه ثلاث اطفاله مغذي احطها يوميه يوميه لمده اسبوع Infant and child mortality rates are two of the major indicators of a country's overall health. Iraq's statistics have remained similar to neighboring countries over the last 12 years. Successive wars over the last three decades have left Iraq one of the most polluted countries on Earth. You mentioned radiation. What other factors? Radiation, chemical materials, uh, reback of many infectious diseases, very common. We can see it in an emergency department. Even the educational of the health program, very poor. Is the Iraqi health system equipped to handle these problems? Look, Iraq uh, passed more than one or two destruction war. Other government, government came and other one and other one. They tried to give something in the health system. You know, from Saddam regime, the health system built and basic. After uh, uh, 2003, began the health system collapse, you know. There is five years of civil war, there is deficiency. And you see, one doctor, in one day, you can see over than 200 patients emergency per day for eight hours. Many doctors have left the country. Of course. The doctors uh, catching by thieves, looters, militias. The doctors are human. They are not a prophet. If you make a simple mistake, some patient family running behind you to kill you or begging to work for money. The shortage of doctors has also affected the campaign against IS. Some doctors have been drafted by the government to take rotations on the front lines. Some have volunteered. For many, the front line comes to them. According to an article in the medical journal The Lancet last year, 2,000 Iraqi doctors have been killed since 2003. Many more have fled to escape the ever-present violence, as doctors have become targets for kidnapping and robbery, and also for bereaved families. I don't want المتعارك برا يجي يذب حركته بالطبيب فالطبيب متعرض اكيد متعرض ال... وهو مو مو رب العالمين يعني ما بيده شيء اللي عليه يسويه زين بس اذا توفى الدنيا تنقلب زين ودائما يتعرضون للضرب الاطباء كل المستشفى هاي طبعا بس بالعراق ها We've spoken to many doctors who say that doctors leave Iraq because of the situation. صحيح هاي الحالة الصير وموجودة وأكثر الأطباء هاجروا اللي راح لأربيل أو اللي طلع خارج العراق بسبب الوضع الأمني يعني قتل وتهديد. Do you think about leaving? بعض الأحيان هي أفكر. IS's expansion in Anbar means even fewer medical services are available for Iraq's most vulnerable citizens. Just as Saddam Hussein let the medical system he built crumble in order to pay for his war against Iran, the current Iraqi government might be fighting IS at the expense of public health.